Oh, welcome to my place. Today it's all about paint finishing again. And a few weeks ago I showed you the difference between, well I didn't actually, but I meant to. I showed you how to apply an acrylic paint. This is what it looks like on a cast iron urn. So that's one look. This look over here is enamel, so it's about acrylic versus enamel. With acrylic, this is all cleaned up with water, but the preparation is exactly the same when it comes to undercoating. Now this one here, because it is enamel, I've had to do several things. Now let's go left to right just for a moment, and I'll just put this here in front of you to have a look at. This is a little cast iron shoe that I've had lying around forever. The, when you look into this, you'll see there's little bits of rust and there's all sorts of things happening to this particular piece of cast iron. That's what happens when it's not protected, especially if it's outside. So what I did was I undercoated, I sanded it down first and this, I'll just put my wee pinny on because we don't want to make a mess. And the thing with the enamel is you have to be very, very careful that it doesn't hit any water. So one's with water, the enamel is with a clean up with turps, but we'll get to that in a minute. Right, the first thing that you have to do, get rid of all of this, is get your shoe and that needs to be completely completely sanded down with a wire brush to get rid of any of that rust. Now rust is like cancer, if you don't get it all it's just going to come back. So it's most important that you do your prep. Right, once that's been done, what I like to do is to just get a little bit of mineral turpentine onto a rag and be very careful about this when it's drying. What happens is this mixed with the enamel paint, it actually heats up. So don't put them into plastic and put them into your rubbish bin. It on a warm day because they may just explode. Okay, so once I've done that, I just give it a wee wipe down here with a bit of mineral turps to just make sure that any of that rust is gone. Now, there are two things that you can do once you get to that stage, let that dry. Once it's dry, I like to put an undercoat on it, but the other thing that you can do is you can get this really great stuff and it's CRC and it's the black um, zinc and it's for rust protection. You can actually spray the whole thing with that instead of using the undercoat. Now, let me just show you. This is, let's just assume that that's been done, shall we? Where is my scissors here and my scissors here? Right, let's just put, get this out like so and I will show you that it is an, it, it, it's really lovely to work with, but you have to be very careful of your hands. And if you're going to be spray painting with this, you need to be wearing a mask. So put your gloves on because this is a bit corrosive. And don't forget that the skin is the biggest organ in the body. So you don't want any of that yucky stuff getting in on you. Right, before you start, where is that mineral turps? Get yourself all sorted out before you begin. And I like to put the meth, the turps into there before I start, just and have a rag standing by just in case you make a mess. Right, get rid of those. Okay, here's my paintbrush. Give that a wee wipe down. And the thing with this is it does, it is a little bit thick. So when you're putting it on, you have to be careful that you don't have too much paint on your brush and it's just a matter of brushing the whole thing over but the reason I love an enamel uh, uh, an acrylic as of well I like both acrylics and enamels but the reason I like the, the enamels is you get this beautiful beautiful black shiny out exterior and that looks fantastic outside because it is cast iron it will rust so the prep that you do now is going to determine how long these last outside. Right from there, I'll just put that to one side. Now, if you can't be bothered doing that, the other thing that you can use is the, the rust protector. Once that's been put onto there, the other thing that you can do is you can use the lacquer. And I use a paint, uh, a lacquer that you, is um, specially formulated for on cars. And that's what I've done with that one there. So you can see the difference. They're almost the same, but this here is going to be hard wearing. This dries really, really quickly. This will take oh, up to a week to dry. So the choice is up to you. You can either have an acrylic, you can have an enamel, or you can just quickly spray it on. But as I said, this will last much, much longer, but the preparation is really important. Get rid of the rust before you do anything, because as I said, it's like cancer. It'll just go right through the whole thing. I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope I've covered off all those questions that I've had from those that called. Thanks for watching, and I will see you another day.